Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Lesson for Students by Department of School Education, Nagaland. I am T. Pongadi, MSA Amphal Mathematics from C.D. King Higher Secondary School, Jotsama, Kohima. In the last session, we learned what is a set and what are the representation of a set. In this session, we are going to learn types of sets. Okay. The first one is empty set. Empty set. The name itself, it defines what is it, isn't it? So, a set which does not contain any element does not contain any element so it is called an empty set it is called an empty set okay. there are some other names for this empty set empty set or void set or null set empty set or white set or null set it is denoted by it is denoted by phi phi p h i okay phi for instance a is the set of all x such that x is a prime number x is a prime number less than 2. See, a is a set of all x such that x is a prime number less than 2. We cannot find a single prime number less than 2, isn't it? Therefore, the set is empty. So, we can write a equal to 5, right? And another example, a is a set of all y, y such that y squared minus uh, 25 25 equal to 0 and y is an even number so a is a set of all x uh, set of all y such that y square minus 25 equal to 0 and y is an even number see what is its solution y square minus 25 equal to 0 which implies y squared equal to 25 and y is equal to plus or minus 5 right but here, uh, what, do we, what do we need? It should be an even number. What are we getting? Both are odd numbers, isn't it? Therefore, we, it is not satisfying this property. Therefore, the set is empty. Hope you understand now. The set which does not contain any element is called an empty set. The other name is, the other names are void set or null set. It is denoted by phi. Okay. The next one is singleton set. Singleton set. Singleton set. So a set which has only one element. Only one element. So that is single set. Okay, for example, B is the set of all X such that X is a is a vowel in the word in the word fish okay what is the vowel present in the word fish only i right so it has only one element in this set therefore it is a singleton set okay before we move on to the next type we will learn one number that is cardinal number or cardinality cardinality of a set Okay, let me take an a set 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. Okay, now how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we can denote this as n of a is 6. n of a is 6. This is the cardinal number of the set. Okay, the number of elements present in the set is called cardinal number or cardinality of a set. Then what may be this? n of phi n of phi so n of phi is 0 because it will not have any element right so 0 and one more thing the empty set can be denoted by empty braces also or you can denote it by phi this is for empty set this represents the empty set okay without any elements inside the bracket you can represent like this 
okay then we will move on to the finite set finite set finite set a set which is either empty or has a definite number of elements <coughs> is called a finite set this is a finite set isn't it it is countable so b equal to empty set or c equal to 1 3 5 7 10 so these are this is countable so it is a finite set it has definite number of elements and this is empty it means it has no element this is also called as finite set okay otherwise otherwise we call it as infinite set infinite set infinite example d represent the set of all odd natural number D is the set of all x such that x is an odd natural number. How do we write in Roster form? 1, 3, 5, etc. I already told you, write few numbers and followed by dots. So this represents the infinite set. We don't need to write all the elements, it is not possible also. So this is infinite set. And if you write the set of all real numbers, then we write it as set of all x such that x is n, x is a real number. So singleton set, cardinal number or cardinality, then finite set and then infinite set. Then we will move on to the next set, type of set. The next one is equal sets. Equal sets. Two sets, A and B are said to be equal can you guess how it can be equal two sets a and b are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements the same elements then we denote this one by a equal to b okay a equal to b means to they are equal sets example a is the set of all x such that x is a letter in the word follow and b is the set of all x such that x is a letter <coughs> In the word wolf okay. can we write what are the elements will be in a f comma o comma l l appears twice so we will write only once and then o appears again so we'll leave it and then double o and b wolf that is w o l f you see these two sets f is here o l w see all the letters are there exactly same elements isn't it but the order is different already we have seen in the previous session that the order is immaterial in which we are in, in which order we write it doesn't matter therefore these two are equal sets therefore we write a equal to b okay i'll show you one more example this time let me take C. C is 2, 3, 5. And D is the set of all Y such that Y is a prime factor or prime divisor. Anything. Prime factors of 30. See. So what are the elements will be there in D? Prime factors of 30. 2, 3, 5. Isn't it? See. 
these two are equal exactly having the same elements therefore c is equal to d okay two sets are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements there is one more set that is equivalent set equivalent sets two sets are said to be equivalent sets said to be equivalent sets if n of a suppose if we take a and b two sets then n of a equal to n of b that is they have the same number of elements same number of elements okay for instance let's take a as 1 2 3 4 and b as a b c d are they equal no they are not equal because they don't have the same elements but you see here n of a the cardinal number of this set is 4 and what is the, what about this one n of b is also 4 so they have a, the same number of elements but not the same elements therefore n of a is equal to n of b in short we can write this equivalent set as a is equivalent to b okay you should know the difference between the equal sets and the equivalent sets equivalent equal sets two sets are said to be equal if they have exactly the same elements but equivalent sets they should be having the same number of elements okay so every equal set is an equivalent set but not vice versa equivalent sets will not be equal sets may not be and we have three more uh, cases the first one is disjoint sets the second one intersecting sets the third one is mutually disjoint sets mutually disjoint sets disjoint sets if they don't have common elements no common elements when we compare two sets okay for example a is 1 2 3 and b is abc see they don't don't have any common elements therefore these two are called disjoint sets and intersecting sets if they have at least one element in common at least one element in common for example a is 2 3 5 7 and b is 5 7 8 9 here they have two elements in common therefore these two are called intersecting sets the third one two or three or more sorry three or more sets are said to be mutually disjoint sets if no two sets have elements in common in common see I'll show you for three sets A is 1 2 3 B is A B C and D is I J K here we can take any two sets and compare if you take these two uh, sets and compare it no no el elements is common right and here if we take these two also we don't have any elements in common and even with a and d we don't have any elements in common therefore so these is these three sets are said to be mutually disjoint sets okay so disjoint sets no common elements between two sets okay 
two sets and intersecting sets at least if they have one element in common and mutually disjoint sets three or more sets are said to be mutually disjoint sets if no two sets have elements in common for example a b c how we have taken now you can go through take note of it and then uh, learn properly this one these are types of sets and then there are some exercise problems in your uh, textbooks these all will be coming for your one marks not for two mark or four mark so hope you can solve these problems by yourself if you have any queries uh, regarding this you can mail me tpungodi90 at gmail.com okay so in this session we learn the types of sets the first one empty set next singleton set then finite num finite set infinite set equal sets and equivalent sets hope you understand all those types of sets clearly with this little bit of knowledge you can explore more and learn properly mathematics okay thank you <laughs>